Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be talking about what our society needs in 21st century. Firstly, our society needs nation builders. Men who promote good governance. Men who are promoter of peace. Men who are lovers of peace. Men who condemns evils and stand as role models for others to emulate. We need politicians of integrity. Not politicians who interest is for their own private pockets. Not politicians who fight to occupy positions in a do or die affair in the life of others. We need politicians who interest is for the common masses. Not kill, kill us. You kill others to occupy their position. That is not what we need in our society. Our society needs leaders of good reputations. Our society needs leaders of good value. Our society needs men of God of good reputation. Men of God of integrity. Men of God who fear God. Men of God who are carriers of the gospel. Men of God who are carriers of the Holy Spirit. Men of God who do things according to the directions of God's word. Men of God who listen to God. And follow his instructions. But if you look in our society today, it's the opposite. Men of God, they are doing contrary to what Christ has instituted. You see, the number of churches nowadays are increasing. The number of pastors are multiplying each day. Yet, evil is increasing in our society. A lot of killings, a lot of prostitutions, a lot of hand robbers, and so many evils going on in our societies. What is the rule of pastors? Yes, because their intentions is not genuine. They use the name of church to make money. We need pastors, we need men of God who fear God. We need Christians of capable characters. Christians who follow the instructions of God, not the instructions of men. Yes. But the reverse is true. We see Christians adoring pastors. Some people go to the extent of Worshipping pastors, but they fail to follow the instructions that God has given. That is the truth. Where are we heading today? Our society is ruining. Our society is going to the point of collapsing because of our social ills. Nobody cares. Nobody pay attention to what is happening. We need to listen to the voice of God, not to the voice of men. Yes, when I listen to this, my father, I share in his view. Listen to him. My father, every enemy disturbing my life, die by fire. Every enemy against my children, die by fire. That's all we do. 
and that's not paying us. That has not changed our country, Nigeria. Even though we have the biggest auditoriums in Nigeria, we have the 50,000-seater, 50, 50, 100,000-seater, 250,000 seater yet our country is still not the country. Our religion is still not saving us. Our children are on the field using Yahoo, doing Yahoo, Yahoo. All of our pastors are on the street sleeping with women all around the place. All of our women are all over the place doing our ritual everywhere. The Christianity has not paid us. The prayer has not been answered over our life yet. And we are still religious. We are building more churches. More pastors are imagining every day. The churches in Nigeria have turned to business. All to collect money. The Kajo people, the fool people, they sleep with our, our women. They sleep with our children. They kill the destiny of our sons. Because he said practically what is happening in our society, in Africa, in Nigeria in particular, what is happening in our society is what we have implanted, but not what God has planted. Let us ask ourselves, what is your contribution in our society? What have you done as a person to promote social morality in our society, justice in our society? What is your contribution? Please, it's a worry for me. I think it should be a worry too for you. Let us work for the good of our society. Let us build back our society as it used to be. Thank you for watching. If you know you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Press on the notification bell. Each time I upload my video, you'll be able to follow. Press like, comment, write whatever you feel about this video. I will be able to see and maybe work another video. Thank you for watching. See you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.